I'm making a video right fucking now. All right, I cleaned my clubs, right? Because I'm bored, you know? It's uh, two, 1 o'clock in the morning, whatever. I bought this for 10 bucks, right? I cleaned it. I cleaned the grooves on all my clubs. Look at that. You can see the strike thing now. Look at the pattern. This is a nice club for 10 fucking bucks. It's like brand fucking new. It's a fucking two wood. And it's nice and narrow. I just got to get it re-gripped. The grip sucks on it. But for 10 bucks, you ain't beating this. So that's in the bag now. The driver... I'm going to put the driver head on that. Um, my Diablo Edge. These things are in great shape. Look at I mean, I cleaned them. I mean, they weren't really dirty in the first place. The grooves, the grooves are pretty clean, but I, I cleaned them. I like the cavity on these motherfuckers. But anyway, this is the uh, 8. Uh, these are nice to have these uh, covers for them. I will say that. You know, I was never one to use these head covers, and I would not buy them, but I'm glad that I have them because, you know what? I will never own a set of clubs again without head covers, ever. Because you don't hear that rattling like I hate that rattling. Plus, it keeps them... I like to have my clubs in good shape. I do try to keep my clubs in good shape. I never did before, but now that I'm serious about golf, I'm keeping them in good shape. And I also got rid of them stupid uh, tubes that were in this golf bag. They always fall fucking... When a golf bag falls down, they come out, and I don't like them tubes. You know what I'm talking about? Them fucking long tubes you stick the clubs in. This is the uh, six iron. Grooves are clean. Clubs are in great shape. I paid three hundred for this bag. All these clubs in this bag and like two hundred golf balls, brand new fucking balls. I mean, you gave me a hell of a deal. Oh, this is six iron. I'm sorry, but uh, today I seen a guy with these clubs. He had a. Um, he had a set of these clubs, right? But with the three, four, five, I only got four through pitching wedge, sand wedge, and approach wedge. But he had the three, four, five as hybrid woods. And they were not for a hundred bucks, but he didn't have no bag. But that's a hell of a deal because these are uh, these clubs are fucking great. Now I did have to regrip these clubs because the grips are fucking horrible. They were just real slippery. This is the uh four iron, my trusty four. These clubs are from 2010. They're nice. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. I mean, in these grips I put on, these arthritic grips, oh my God. They're like them grips you had on your uh, bike when you were a little kid, the real grippy ones. They're real good. They're like oversized. Because I, I hate, my hands are big. Actually, I want to get bigger grips than this, to be honest with you. And that's what my plan is if I ever do. I might even get bigger grips than this, to be honest with you. That's just my preference. I got big hands, and that's what I got to do. Here's the uh, approach wedge. Good shape. So, uh, the X. I don't know why I approach which is actually these little cats are trying to get in that hole again. You ain't getting that hole, son. Took it away from you. These kittens, I'm trying to spend more time with these kittens because uh, they got homes now tomorrow, Friday. There's the uh, five iron, my trusty five. Groups are looking nice. I love the cavity. I, love, I wish they were black. They'd be sweet, these clubs. But they're not. And that cat just took a shit because it smells terrible. One thing about me, I'm up to date on that litter box. I keep that motherfucker litter free. I don't like the smell of cat shit. That's just the facts. These are good traps. These are, these are, there's the, uh, this is a nine iron. Um, I love these clubs. I really do. To be honest with you, I'm glad I got this set instead of the guy with the 345 because I would have had to buy a good golf. I love this golf bag. It's nice and, uh, it's a real nice bag actually, but it's, uh, it's, it's, got, it's a nice bag. It's probably a two, three hundred dollar bag to be honest with you. So I didn't want to spend money on a golf bag. No, I just don't like the driver that this guy, I don't like big headed drivers. This is a seven iron. Don't look at the guy really hit. This guy, I tell you what, he said he didn't really play that much with these clubs because he got cancer. You can tell he, from 2010, these clubs are in great shape. He took care of them. Obviously, when you got some of the club heads on the uh, clubs, you know they take care of them. Now I know why they put the tubes in them because these clubs are hitting the bottom of the other ones. I don't give a fuck though. And here's the trusty uh, pitcher wedge. So I got the, I got a. What do I have here? I got an approach. 
Pitch and wedge. I don't have a sad wedge. I got an approach. The approach is the same thing as sad to me, bro. You're trying to get in that hole. You ain't getting in. You ain't getting in that hole. So anyway, there they are. And I'm going to throw this driver. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give this driver to somebody. I don't want it. I cleaned it. If you want to look at it, I cleaned it. It looks like a brand new club. It's a nice driver if you like big heads. I, I can still hit it if I teed it up real high. I just... I don't like, I never like big headed drivers. I love that too, what I bought for 10 bucks. You can't beat that deal. That, that club, that club, that's all I need is a two wood and my irons. That's it, and I'm good. So that's it. This is my bag. Give you a look at the bag real fast. Um, it's a nice bag, very sturdy. That's not a cheap bag, I'll tell you that. It's a night. That's not a cheap bag at all. I will say that. It's an older bag, but it's in real good shape. All the zippers work. And like I said, the guy gave me like 200 balls brand new. I like this spot for the putter. I got a head cover for this in the car. I'm going to have to put it on. In fact, I got two more head covers. So, that's it. That's my clubs. That's a, hey, I love golf now. I'm addicted to it. Who would have thought?